Hey everybody, this is Joel Gamer Junkie. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk about the five things that I want the Life is Strange comics to answer before they end. Now, in case any of you haven't seen my post, apparently um, the Life is Strange comic series is going to be ending this year. Um, now, I don't know like if it's actually going to be once Max and Chloe reunite, then the series is going to end, or if it's just strictly Max and Chloe's story is going to end and they're going to continue with someone else. So, like, I, I don't know, okay. What I do know is the five questions I want answered, and without further ado, here they are. Now the first question I want answered is how people reacted to Max's disappearance. Now I personally feel it will be a big mistake for the comic to not address this as it's been two years and I don't think everyone's just going to forget about Max. I want to know what Max's parents were thinking, what the original High Seas bands were thinking. like. It who knows, maybe um, police could have been questioning Chloe and being like, do you know what happened to her? Or maybe Max's parents could have even thought that Chloe had something to do with Max's disappearance. I mean, it's pretty dark when you think about it, but, you know, as a parent, if your child's hanging out with this uh, person, then, oh, and, and then they go missing, obviously this person is going to be the one you suspect, you know? Like, I hope... I, I don't think something like that's going to happen, but I, I definitely want Max's disappearance to be addressed and not just like, oh yeah, I was just gone for two years, now I'm back, oh great, we got supper here, Max, why don't you and Chloe come in, you know, you know what I mean? Just, no, I want, a, I want her parents and their friends to be asking all these questions, where did she go, why was she gone for so long, you know, just things like that. The second thing I want answered is what was Chloe doing for the two years after Max disappeared? Now, in the comics, in the recent comics of the fourth arc, I mean the issues of the fourth arc, uh, we do get some idea of what she's been doing. We even, like, we even, like, so basically she was just hanging out with the High Seas band, but I'd like to know what happened after Max left, like, what was the state of Arcadia Bay like? Did she speak up about it? Did she go, oh no, Nathan wasn't a saint, he was an asshole. You know, just stuff like that. I'd like to know what Chloe's been up to. Now, technically this involves two characters. Well, double technically, it's one character just across different timelines, and that's Trixie. Now, in issue 16, we saw that uh, Trixie the one from Max's timeline was able to see Tristan when he was invisible and he became, uh, what's the word, transparent? No, no, in intangible, I think that is, where not only could nobody see him, um, they could also pass through him, so he couldn't, like, touch anything, like, he could phase through people and objects, basically. Well, not everything, otherwise he probably would have sunk through the ground all the way to Earth's core, but you know what I mean. So. Not only do I want to know how Pixie's able to see him, I want to know exactly how Pixie in Rachel's timeline was able to remember the tree from the previous issue slamming down on the road and um, the, and the band she was in crashes into it. If you remember in issue 15, um, when that happened, Max got out, she rewinded time, but then Tristan showed up and she ended up rewinding time, which somehow threw Tristan back into his original timeline, so when, which makes it, which makes the question, which begs the question, is when Max rewinds his alternate timeline, rewinds as well, like, that's just kind of a big mind death right there, but, I don't know, this, you know, this comic series, it, it's gone to strange places, it, it, it's all over the place, not like Rick and Morty, but, yeah, definitely just, it, it's, as the arcs have progressed, the series has, like, upped the ante, if you know what I mean, just taken stuff to a whole new level. So the fourth question I have, um, I guess it's not a question that the comic um, has to answer, it's more of a question the writers have to an answer. Now, in the second issue that's coming out for the next arc, um, we're going to be getting a brief appearance of Alex from Life is Strange True Colors. Now, this is supposed to be a prequel story. Now, 
Um, what's confusing about that is this comic series is not canon, and um, I feel people ask. I have people asking me in the comments, "Is this comic series? Sorry, getting tongue-tied. Is this comic series with Max and Chloe canon?" Now, um, I'm going to say this again. Um, the comic series is a what-if scenario. It's not canon. But it's entirely up to Square Enix, um, the publishers. Um, if they want to make the comic series canon, then they have to come out and say it. Otherwise, no, I'm not accepting it as canon. It's just a story in an infinite timeline. You know what I'm saying? And because it's a story, it's not canon. It's one of many stories in an infinite timeline. Then I need to know, is Alex's story just one in an infinite timeline? Is it canon to the game? So, um, yeah, that's what I'd like to know. I would like to know your thoughts on it, because I definitely... it It's going to be coming out in August. I don't know the exact date, but the next issue um, after after this month is going to be August, and that's going to have um, um, Alex in it, I believe. Um, unless uh, it's a different issue that's coming out the same month, I'll have to go back and check. Now, the last thing I, this comic needs to answer for me, which I personally want, as well as um, all of you, is I want a reunion with Max and Chloe. I want an actual proper reunion. Now, what I mean by that is, I don't want Max to get back to her own timeline, and then she ends up seeing Chloe, and then it ends like that. That's really just going to piss me off as well as I'd imagine it piss off a lot of you people as well. Because we don't want that, no. We we don't just want them to see and then hug and have a kiss and then the comic ends. No, I, I actually want to see them interact. I want to know, you know, I want to see that tearful reunion. Otherwise, you know, what's it all for? Like, what's the point of Max going through all the shit she's gone through to get back to Chloe and then they just cut it short? No, I, I don't want that. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't want that either. So anyways, that's the end of this video. Uh, let me know what you'd like this comic to address for you, or answer for you, or, you know, just whatever. How do you, how do you want it to end? Just leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Toad Gamer Junkie, signing off.